Hi everyone, I'm Dan. I've just released a new plugin for Cinema 4D called Super Source Falloff. It's my first plugin, so I just wanted to make this quick video to show you the basics. It's a falloff plugin, so it'll show up in the falloff tab of all your MoGraph effectors, um, and also a lot of the newer deformers like Displacer and Surface get falloff tabs, so you can use it with them as well. Uh, but for now, I just want to show you how to create a variable width falloff with cloners but you can use this wherever you can use a falloff. I'm going to fill up this cloner with tiny cubes. I'm going to make them red so we can see really clearly what's going on. And I'm going to make a big square grid of cubes to start with. Then I'll add just a plain effector. Go to parameter I'm going to scale these right up and I'm going to turn the color mode on so they all turn yellow when the effector is changing them. Now with the built-in uh, falloffs like sphere, uh, it's pretty easy to change the size of the focus of the falloff, but it, the Falloff's always the same width all the way around. I can't change the uh, position of that focus. Uh, but we can do that pretty easily with Super Source Falloff. And to start using it, we just have to select it from the Shape drop down box here. And then add the shapes that you want to use to define the edges of the falloff. You can use most of the primitives, but we're going to use spheres for now. I don't want this one to render. Uh, but you could have your falloff be affected by things that are in your scene. And I'm going to change the display here to lines, so we can see what's going on through the sphere. This big one's going to be the outside of my falloff, and I'm going to copy it, and make this new one smaller to be the inside of my falloff. Then I just need to drag the small sphere to the inside links, and the big sphere to the outside links, and I've got a sphere deformer. This is exactly what a sphere deformer does, so that's not very exciting. But I can now move around my inside sphere independently of the outside sphere, and I've given myself a variable width falloff. And you don't have to stop with just two spheres, you can combine different shapes. So I'm going to change the outside sphere for a cube, that's changed the falloff slightly, but if I make that cube editable, I can then go in and move the points around and change the shape of the falloff even more. You can do some other neat stuff like adding splines into the mix, and you can add a few different shapes into the links to give you even more control over what your falloff shapes are doing. And you're not stuck using a flat grid array. Uh, these are 3D falloffs. So you can go back into your cloner and add, add depth in. Then when I move my sphere around, see the uh, falloff is working in three dimensions. Uh, but that should be enough to get you started for now. You can download the demo at www.curiousanimal.tv. I hope you enjoy.